little baby anaconda was just born. But it's not just any baby anaconda. This is actually a miracle baby anaconda. Unfortunately, I wasn't here when it was born. Just got a call from Mike. Looks like Ariana laid, but it doesn't look good. So let's go check it out. Double infertile, and there is a stillborn right here. Obviously, you can see it does have a deformed face. I did just notice one other thing I didn't even tell Jay about. There's actually a baby right here underneath the ivy. Oh my god, dude. Is it so alive? It looks alive. It looks alive. Hold on. So Don't touch anything yet. I'm not touching anything. We gotta call Mr. Brian. We gotta call Mr. Brian. I will say on the ultrasound and stuff, we did see like two or three skeletons. So if that's one of them, that's one of them. There could be one more baby somewhere. I was actually in Grand Rapids, Michigan, babysitting my grandson when I got the call. Good morning, Mr. Brian. What's going on, man? Ariana actually gave birth. We just saw him this morning. Downside is, I'm gonna show you real quick. We got a couple infertile ova, stuff like that. Really, really small ones. There's just one stillborn? So there's actually one right here under Ivy. It thinks it's its mama. And it definitely looks alive. Oh, it's probably gonna bite the crap out of you. So it is alive. It's alive. Ivy, you be good. It is alive. That is so crazy, man. So you think that's the only one? We haven't really gotten yeah. into the enclosure and look, this is just the one that we saw from the side. Gosh, um, I can't believe I'm not. Yeah, that's amazing. Even if it's one, it's, it's still a miracle, you know? Then we will let you know if we find any more. All right, guys, keep me posted. Good job, man. That's awesome. Gonna start playing. It's gonna turn around and bite you. Ah, take it back, Mike. Sorry, I love you. Ow, Maria. <laughs> what did you do to my snake, dude? It was so chill. I'm gonna call Maria. I, Hold on. You need to come to the reptarium right now in front of Ivy and Ariana's cage. I hear it running. Baby, no way. Maria, this is one? this is now yours. Get this thing away from me. It already lit up, Connie. Turn around and bite you. Ah, come here. It has not gotten me yet. Hello. Let's go, Welcome man. to the world. Oh, look. look. <laughs> It does bite. Guys, why am, why am I the only one shot? We, we've been freaking out already. We're gonna FaceTime Brian. You FaceTime Brian already? Yeah. yeah I've been, been texting him all morning and he didn't even say anything. I guarantee you my phone right now says Dad Barchek. Literally. <laughs> he didn't even <laughs> say it. Can I have it? That's, bro, I don't want the thing. Why are you not freaking out? What do you want me to do? Get in here? Yeah, that works. Just like that. We're gonna give him a little bat. Well, no, actually what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull Arion out. We're gonna give her a nice little soak. Try to get that pee up. Oh! Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, guy is a stillborn. That is his umbilical cord. Yeah, it's dead. It's not moving at all. Obviously, this guy has a little deformity. Very, very common and very typical with parthenogenesis. Oh, you are saying it. Sorry. Look like Ariana a lot. The pattern matches up. Duh, Mike, it's parthenogenesis. It's a freaking identical baby. Yeah, but Duh. we didn't know if she had retained sperm from Jack. It's Jeremy Turgeon. We just got baby anaconda. Jeremy! Jeremy! Look, check it out. Isn't that awesome? It's pretty amazing. Mother Nature never wastes anything. You can see Ariana is actually going up and actually eating the placenta, that goopy stuff. And that basically is giving her nutrition. And we see that with live bears all the time. Even the infertile ova, she'll typically eat to try to put nutrition back in. Again, Mother Nature isn't wasting anything and it's really truly amazing to see. and hate these anaconda so much. <laughs> All right guys, that's enough excitement for one day. Time to get Ariana actually out of the enclosure. Make sure she doesn't have any more babies in her. And just get her nice soak, get her cleaned up. The baby's fun to get bit by. She would not be fun to get bit by. So we'll get her a little soak. Her tail actually looks pretty empty. It doesn't seem like there's any babies in this vicinity. I think she pretty much laid everything that she had in her, which is good. You don't have to worry about another baby coming out. But it's so crazy how like fertile ova are so small. Yeah, last year when she had her infertile besides the one live baby, they were like actually egg size, not like gusher size. You want a gusher? No, I get a chance to look at little baby Frida. That's the name that they gave her. And this is my first time looking at it. Oh my gosh, it is so absolutely adorable. Look at that. I mean, it brings me back to when Ivy had her babies. I mean, they're born really big. Again, when I was talking about parthenogenesis, the thing that's really interesting, of course, is because there's no male DNA with it, it's only females, right? So like, she's gonna have little clones of herself. So they're all gonna be females. Unfortunately, she only had one last year. It didn't make it for some reason. And that happens with parthenogenesis sometimes, where you have this 
completely healthy looking animal and then a week or two later they just perish for some reason. This one looks a little bit stronger, a little bit more healthy than last year. So hopefully this one will survive, but I don't even have to sex it because I know it's going to be a female. But wow, that is absolutely ridiculous. That really is truly a miracle. I mean, it's amazing to think that Mother Nature can do that, right? Have a virgin birth without a father two years in a row. All right, guys, so while Mike's cleaning it up, we're going to go ahead and see if this puffing snake. These guys are snake eaters, so let's see what he thinks about this. Took it almost instantly. Just like Mother Nature, we don't want to waste anything here. And unfortunately, there was a stillborn baby anaconda, but we don't want to just put that to waste. So we looked for the snake that might want to actually eat it and give it some nice nutrition. We happen to have a puffing snake that will eat rodents, but also our snake eaters. And it's really amazing to see the process go. And to have that differential between rodents and snakes is actually healthy for the puffing snake. To give it that variety of food, it's going to make it grow really well. Puffing snakes are really quite amazing animals. And again, they're from the same kind of area as anacondas. So in the wild, they probably would eat little baby anacondas. anacondas. In this sense, we're putting something that's a tragedy into a positive thing so that the puffing snake has a great big meal in her. So he did finish it, kind of took him a while, but he did finish it and that was crazy to see. That was a really big meal for him, so I'm probably not gonna feed him for a couple weeks. <laughs> but this is really great nutrition for them, so I'm happy we didn't let the snake go to waste. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah. Parthenogenesis actually is an amazing thing that happens in nature. It's basically when a female infertilizes the ovum without a male present. Basically a virgin birth. Now it happens pretty frequently in plants and some other bugs, but rarely happens in higher invertebrates. So it's really amazing that not only did we have parthenogenesis once last year, but the fact that she did it two years in a row is absolutely incredible. Like I said, it really is a true miracle of nature. This is actually Annie, our female anaconda from Ivy last year. Look at how big they're getting they're absolutely incredible and again she had 42 babies last year but you got to remember she had a male that actually bred her so all the babies came out nice and healthy the fact that we actually have a baby partho is really special because oftentimes because there's no male they come out stillborn or like i had mentioned they don't last very long the fact that that one seems so strong i have a lot of confidence that it's going to live and one day grow to this size and even as big as ariana and who knows one day maybe as big as ivy it's just crazy to think that's happened now two years in a row and again it's a bummer that I wasn't here to see it, but it is so cool to come home to such an amazing surprise. I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's Ariana. Let him peed up in the tree. That's not okay. You're in the condo, in the water. Why don't I just lock him in here? He's annoying today. Huh? All right, guys, so that's all she wrote. Closure is finally disinfected, cleaned all the way through. All the pee, all the poop, all the placenta, grossness is just gone and clean, thankfully. Obviously, she just ate a rat the other day when we were feeding, so we know that she's gonna eat again. So next week, we'll give her a little bit bigger meal, maybe beef her back up. Cause it really doesn't look like, like, rewind how we it doesn't really look like she lost all that much weight. Obviously, like I said, those infertile ova were really, really small compared to last year, how they were like almost egg size eggs, but ova. So, I mean, I don't think she put that much energy into it. I think it happened really quick, just like Ivy did. Just came around the corner and there it was. So it's all clean. I'm gross. This is clean. It's all nice. A couple months ago, we noticed that Ariana was actually hanging out right here beneath the sun lamp, which basically is the hottest spot. We also noticed that she looked a little bit big. So we decided to ultrasound her just to see what was going on. And sure enough, we saw two little baby spines inside her. Turns out that we were right. There was one live baby and one stillborn baby. But how incredible is that? We were definitely able to see the babies and we knew she had some coming. Now, I was hoping that they would both be alive, but unfortunately only one of them made it. She showed all the signs of being gravid and sure enough, she certainly was. You know what? We should go show Bill and Sally. I bet you they've never seen a virgin birth snake before. Let's do it. Hi guys. We have something special to show you. Remember how Ivy had babies last July? So Ariana, the other female that we have, never was with a male. This is a virgin birth baby. Never been with a male. This is a complete clone of the female. That is so cool. It's She's the cutest so cool. thing. We just oh, had to show you. Go ahead, put your hand right underneath your belly. Don't let go. Yeah, I got you. 
Is that not cool? This is a very that rare sounds, thing. I've never held a snake before, tell you the truth. This is, it feels <laughs> and really you're doing cool. the anaconda. It feels good, right? It does. Yeah. It do because one day these things get up to 300 pounds. So they we get have heaviest body snake on the planet. Different. Aww. So soft. I've never held, held a snake either. This is the first time you just have. He's going, he's going to Danny. That's it's right. not that bad, right? No, no. It's very soft. I feel it, it when it's moving. You can feel the, the muscles, muscles undulate, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. just happened this morning. Oh boy! Just yeah. Born. Good job, Ariana. She's such a good girl. I mean, take a look at her right there. And she's kind of like Mother Mary a little bit. Two years in a row having virgin birth. Who knows if every single year she's going to do that? And as she gets bigger, which she certainly will for next year, will she have more than one baby? I guess only time will tell. That was amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember. What is that? Oh, yeah, it looks like. She's farting.